you can't feel the food yet. Look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh, that was a hug. <laughs> Hey Farm Fam! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So, I'm just waking up. It is, let's see the time. It is 7.45. Um, it's actually a Saturday, so got to sleep in a little bit. You see this little tail? Oh hi Lexi, that's not your tail. So, all the dogs are in bed with me still. But I'll be on the ground. I'm just going to show you everything. Because today... We are going to be doing a morning routine. Right, Lexi? Right, Lexi? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and, of course, have a chance to my post notification. Shout out. All right, you guys. Let's start the morning. Lexi. So this is pretty much what we do for a while is we play with the dogs. Oh, I wanna show you. Oh! So I'm gonna show you what my view is. And over there is Tommy. And they will just play and do this forever. Penelope is down there as well. Guys, don't mind all the little suits from the dogs on the door, on the door but do you see this? This is Bagel wanting to come in and Domino basically telling him no. Oh my gosh, quit fighting. Oh, Lexi! I meant Domino, don't hurt her. And Miss Penelope. Penel! Hi, baby. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Piggy. Good morning. Good morning. Penelope sleeps in a dog bed in our room. Okay, so we're gonna let them all out again. Bagel, go away so you don't get trampled. Uh-oh, be nice. Come on, Penelope, go outside. Good morning, kittens. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, Bagel, come on. So I just changed into my cozy little crew neck. Yes, it's my merch. It's super cozy because it's a little bit um, chilly outside right now. So I just changed into my little crew neck that was Domino. And then I brushed my hair. And now we're going to brush our teeth. I just put a little bit of concealer on a couple of my blemishes. I just used Tarte Shape Tape. And now I'm just kind of using my little beauty blender and just blending it out. On the weekends, I don't really try to like wear a lot of makeup. Um, just because like we're usually like working outside and I get really sweaty. Um, but yeah, so now that we are pretty much done with our self-care for the morning on the weekend, I'm really simple um, on the weekends. Now we need to feed the dogs. Lexi's so ready to eat. So since it's winter time <laughs> and my Christmas decorations are up, I just go around and I turn on all the lights to my Christmas decorations. Miley's over there enjoying a bone now. Emma, is that how you sit on the couch? I have some Christmas decorations that I've been moving around and they're on the dining room table right now. Domino just thinks it's a big toy. Domino's so crazy in the mornings. Ow! He likes to punch and bite me and do very mean stuff. Thinks he's in the woods. <laughs> Are you back in the woods, Dom? What are you doing in there? Whoa! He can still see you. Ow! You're so violent. Look at that mouth. You're mean. All right, well, you have fun with the Christmas decorations. <laughs> Penelope just got fed in her cage. Guys, she makes her cage such a mess, but we just got her this huge cage for her for Christmas. We bought it on Black Friday. Couldn't wait to give it to her, but it is so big for her. She like swims in it. It's like an extra large dog crate. 
<laughs> it's so funny. But she likes it. She likes to move all of her beds around and blankies and make it her own little space. Right, now. So she's just eating. So I'm actually going to let her back out and let her outside because she loves to go outside and graze. Right, Pinel? And go outside. Come on. Goodbye, Penelope. Have a great morning outside. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Pema, are you getting scratchies? Pema, look. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Daisy, you'll get your food in a minute there, girl. So everyone is chowing down. And now while the dogs are eating, I'm gonna go ahead and just vacuum my house really quick because my dogs have a lot of hair. So here I go. So I'm done vacuuming. The dogs are playing on the couch. And Mike is just making quick breakfast really quick before we go out into the barn. But look at these two. They are so crazy. They do this literally every morning. It doesn't matter what day it is. So I'm just gonna sit here and kind of wait. I actually usually right now am going to reply back to comments on my latest YouTube video. So I will just sit here and do that until breakfast is done and then we'll go out to the barn. We have a lot to do out there today. So if you guys commented on my last video, you're gonna be getting responded to right now. Look at these two just being so cute. Bama loves his little bone. And then we've got a little cat. That's crazy. <laughs> Cleaning himself. Oh, okay. Pima. She's gonna get your bone. Really quickly now before we go outside. Daisy needs her medicine. So Daisy is epileptic. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that. So she gets medicine twice a day. So she's gonna get her Phenobar, which is a pill. And then she will get this liquid, which is potassium bromide. Good girl. Good girl! All right, so now that Daisy's taken care of, it's time to put my Crocs on and go out to the barn. Ah, what a good feeling, you guys. This is my routine with the barn. The horses stay in during the night, so they're in their stalls right now. Good morning! Good morning, Tiggs. Good morning. Hello, Blaze. Cassie, what are you doing? Oh, you got some, you've been laying down, weren't you? Your face, so dirty. Is that yummy? Let's see what they do. Is he giving you a little food? Oh, wow. Everyone looks like they were laying down. They all have shavings on the side of their face. Hey, Louie. <laughs> He doesn't like it. Trigger likes it. He's like, okay. I like it. It's very good. You better like this. Yummy little snack. Mm, mm, I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> he acts like it was a huge piece. He's eating it like there's so much left. All right, you guys. You ready to eat? You ready for breakfast? Oh, you made my camera all foggy. Yes, I hear you. So we feed in these buckets, so I'm just gonna grab their buckets and bring them into the tack room. The kittens are in my tack room. If you guys saw my animal update, they're in the tack room. And I just like to come in here and play with them. They're getting so big. They climb all over us, so whenever we come in here to feed and stuff, we always have to play with them really quickly. We love to play with them. They're so fun. They're so fun and they're at such a fun age. Such a sweet baby. And if you guys didn't see my animal update video, um, we are keeping at least three of the cats, I believe, as of right now. Um, one of the greys is going to a friend of mine that lives um, just a couple streets away from me. She has a farm. But they absolutely love the tack room. It's so fun for them. They have so many things to play with and chew. <laughs> oh! Look how sweet you are. Oh, do you guys hear a purr? Hold on. 
Look at her shadow of the tail on the wall. <gasps> you little motor mouth. All right, so we're gonna feed now. But I'm gonna do an updated feeding routine really soon. So we're just gonna lightly go through what we do in the morning. So none of my horses get like their supplements really in the morning. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do like so. Just got a little bit of this. And then, just gonna take a couple of treats out there with me. I'll put them in there. Hi, kitty. Oh, I got the exact amount. Perfect. Is this your food bowls? <laughs> All right, and then now the cows and Stewie's feet. We do about five to six scoops of grain. We do this twice a day. And then doing feed, he gets about this much. This is all of our bowls that are ready to feed the animals. Kitties. Look at little paws. It's not for you. I got all your food, everyone's so excited. All right, so just go down the line. Triggy, back up, back up. Hey now, greedy. Gotta get all that oil out of there. Cashy, bring it full. Did you bring it over here? Over here. Mm. My goodness, that was a loud cow. I think it's the neighbor's bull. Yeah, I think that was the cow. Hey, eat yours. Alright, last one. Back up, Louie. Alright, everyone has grain, now I have to drop hay. Hi, Snow. How are you doing? <laughs> so, we have to feed the cows and the pig. We need to let the chickens out. Hello, everyone. Here's the pig food, Mike. All right, now we face the beast. So, their feeder is pretty far away from the gate. It used to be pretty close, but we moved it. this big feeder so that they all can get some. So this is how we open it, we hold it up with a stick and then the chickens will come out. Good morning! There's the rooster. <laughs> so they'll all just come out and fun. There's barbecue, hi barbecue! And they go and steal the other animals feed. Off they go. And more will continue to come out as they please. So I'm in the chicken coop. My chickens are only laying in like two boxes right now, so this one and this one. But they have like nice fresh ones next to them, literally, so it's just funny. So they've been laying pretty good, but I'm gonna steal an egg and we're gonna give it to Stu, because he loves eggs. Yeah, that little chicken's his buddy. An egg for Stewie! 
Yum. That's what we called scrambled eggs. Kind of it's okay. You missed the bowl. You missed the bowl. Water. He'll still eat it. You're a big boy. It's a good pig. Look who it is. It's Bagel. Bagel. You're getting a little too chunky. Bagel. Off into the wilderness he goes. I hear another little cat meowing over there. I think it's right there. <laughs> and then there's a pig. So some of the chickens have lined up around the cow feed. This is what they do, they like to get the droppings. So they just wait there, get a nice little dessert. Look at them, it goes small, medium, large. <laughs> You're so sweet. He's a good kitty. Guys, I love having barn cats. Cause it's just an animal everywhere. It was so sweet. Ow. Oh, so pretty. All right, so they're done eating and it's time to let them out. So I'll kind of show you what we do. So this is how we do this. We open up our back gate here. And then they go out of our little gate right there. Let's go, Triggy. Come on. And their stalls are such a mess. We have to clean stalls next. Come on. Let's go outside. Go. Go. And then we just let Louie out, Louie follows. Other way, Triggs. Uh-oh. So, they went out into the wrong pasture. I'm gonna put them in the back pasture, but he just got done rolling. So now I'm trying to move him to the pasture. Look how pretty they are. So Blaze is in the front pasture, but all three of them are back here. Blaze is coming. He's so chubby. Come on, buddy! I'm gonna go this way. So they're just running around. Trigger will join. They gotta get their energy out from being in the stalls. Blaze and Cash already playing. We'll start to rear up at each other soon. There they go. These two horses are so goofy. They do this thing with their face. Oh, I, I jumped on him. What the heck? Oh, Louie's going down to roll. He's like, okay, you guys, you guys play. I'll be down here. Maybe they'll do that running thing again. Yeah, that was weird. I just thought it was so funny, Blaze jumped on him. That was weird. Louie's rolling. Oh my gosh, that was a hug. <laughs> that was... Huggies. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is fun. It's so fun to watch them do this. They can't stand being installed next to each other. Yeah, they love each other so much. They don't really like to be separated. That's, these two are literally in the stalls next to each other. But they're like, we were away from each other for far, far too long. We must touch. That was funny. <laughs> Hugs. <laughs> they hugged. That was cute. All right, so I could sit here and watch them all day. Oh, there goes Trigger. Good night, Trigger. Yeah, he's rolling. He's rolling. Got to get the stench on him from the outside. Rubbing his face. Blaze, you look pregnant when you walk over here. All right, so. Like I said, I could sit here and stare at them all day, but we need to clean stalls. So the stalls are a big mess, but but we need to actually go and go to our feed store to go get more shavings. We ran out, so we are completely gutting the stalls since I said it's a weekend, so we like to gut them. So we're gonna take everything out of them and start fresh. So we just got back from the store. 
Now we have so much stuff in the bed of my truck, so I need to take the Ranger back there. All right, so we've got Mike right here that we're gonna pick up. I don't know if you guys can see me, the sun is so bright. Get in, we're ride. going shopping. <laughs> Finale! This is how much stuff is in the bed of my truck. That's why we had to bring the Ranger over. So just for the fun of it, I kinda just wanna open it to see if anything's gonna fall, but it might not. Oh, everything stayed. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff at truck display. We got more cat food, cat litter. And then we got so many of these beddings. And then we got more PDZ, which we use for our stalls. And then I got trigger an alfalfa block. So we're just gonna load it up. The Ranger is fully packed, literally. This thing can fit so much. This is our biggest load in the Ranger so far. And then I just had to put a couple like of the little cat things in here. But my goodness, there's like 10 shavings in here, 10 bags of shavings, a couple PDZ, just a bunch of stuff and it just fit. So that was cool. So now that we're back in the barn, we're just gonna unload all of our stuff because we actually need to spread first. Emma just forgot. We have to spread the manure that we have right now. So this is our <laughs> manure spreader and this is um, the manure from last night. It's just obviously our spreader is really full. So we need to spread onto the pasture first and then we can clean stalls. So he's just backing up to the spreader and the spreader is pretty neat how it works. We've only been able to spread a couple times. Obviously we haven't had the stalls for long. So it's pretty neat. So this is how it works. It goes so quickly. Yay! Mike is backing the tractor into the barn and then basically we're gonna take our spreader and back it up right here so that we can just fill that bucket and then dump it right into the spreader because we are going to be clearing out all the stalls of all the shavings, everything completely gutting all the stalls and then just gonna clean our saw mattresses thoroughly to restart. We want to really make sure that this barn doesn't get a lot of bugs. So what we're doing. The stall is completely cleared out. Oh, I love these flooring mats, I'm serious, because of this reason right here. So this is like just some areas where obviously the horses have, well, Trigger specifically <laughs> has urinated. So we're gonna do a little bit of like a light, light, light concentrated bleach mixture just to get this out. Um, and then now we got some different shavings today. I don't know if you guys remember, I had told you guys that we had gotten um, like track supply shavings, but I didn't wanna get those type of shavings but I had to because that's, you know, all that was open. So now I went to a feed store and got the new shavings. So we've already dropped one load and now we're dropping our final load because all the stalls are cleaned out. I'm exhausted. Into the spreader it goes. This is like the perfect setup right now. This makes so much sense. Yay. So I have trigger stall and cash stall completely cleaned with Clorox and everything. Then I just have Louis the Clorox and then Blazes the Clorox. And I'm almost done. I'm so tired, you guys. It's actually almost like not morning anymore. So we're almost done. Okay, so. All of the stalls are now completely gutted and everything like that. Now it's shaving time. Oh, I'm so ready to be done with this. I'm hot, you guys. And then I gotta take out the water bucket, so I'm gonna take it out now. It just got so dirty from all the flying shavings. Oh, I can't get it out. Here we go. Fabulous. So I just gotta clean those. Okay, so I already like these shavings a lot better. They're super oh, they're tiny. fine. Yeah. So the other ones were a little bit bigger. I really like these. Cool. All right. Woohoo! Okay. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Don't get my shoes! 
spread my shavings out. Guys, I actually want to just simply sit. Pretty good. It looks so plushy. really nice I still really like right here to be empty with stuff because they eat here and they drop like food here and stuff and then I drop their hay right here for now so Mike and I are just gonna continue to do this okay so I got my dirty buckets here and I got my chickens here hello we've just got three over here my rooster I don't know the other I don't know where the rest of his girls are right now All right, so all my buckets are clean. Now it's time to put them back in the stalls and fill them up. All right, y'all, so last thing that I have to do this morning is we have to put this alfalfa block out. I just get these at Tractor Supply, um, and this is in Trigger stall. So he's a hard keeper, especially when the winter time hits, he can tend to drop weight just because he's a really hard keeper. So I'm putting this alfalfa block in here and then we'll still supplement his um, feed and grain and hay, but he really likes this in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and put this in here. Well, my barn is a complete mess. I need to clean it, but that's fine. Mike is gonna go spread one last time. But you guys, as you can see, my beet red face, I'm so exhausted. It's very hot this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the morning routine up here because we're almost into afternoon. It's almost close to one actually here. So we've done a lot this morning. Super, super successful morning. The weekends for us are crazy in the mornings and I'm just so glad we were able to do our stall prep today and just get everything ready for tonight's feeding and things like that. But if you guys like this morning routine in the barn, this is how it's going, you guys. I love it. I'm in my element again. I love cleaning stalls and doing things like this. So if you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. Are you guys today's shout out goes to? All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.